Hi, welcome to my opinion. Today I want to talk a little bit about real estate, some real estate stuff. I want to talk to you about the importance of having a will for your property and um, some of the do's and don'ts and some things that you may or may not have thought about. Well, one thing that I'd like to point out is if you have a piece of property and you fall ill and you have to go to a nursing home, the nursing home will be able to... Um, As they give you services for being in a nursing home, they can also put a lien against your property. Meaning, after they do so many services, they can take your property because they know you can't afford to pay it. So your real property or money that you have in the bank, they can, they're allowed to take it by law for taking care of you in the nursing home. Now, if you have a child or someone that you would like to leave that to, the way it used to be, you could do a will prior to going into the nursing home and that would... Pass, up, pass back to your kids or whoever it was that you want to put in your will. But I think you need to talk to an attorney about that because I think that they changed a few things in that that you would have to have it in their name prior to going to the nursing home. I don't think that you could have just a um, power of attorney and have them over your property to enter the nursing home. I'm, I don't think that's the way it's written now or they might have made some changes. So you want to talk to an attorney and double check that. The other thing is if you pass away without a will, um, what happens is the people that are your direct heirs, meaning your kids, your spouse, uh, grandkids, if some of your kids pass away, what they have to do is they have to go probate your property. And while they go through probate, through the probate court, they're all allowed to, uh, because they are heirs, they all have say-so in that property uh, that you took forever to go pay off. So now the loved ones that you would like to leave it to might not have controlling factor in that property because the ones that are um, your direct heirs might have something to say about it. So the best way to go around all that is please make a will. Make a will. Make sure that it's there where people can find it, have it signed, have it itemized out. Or if that's if you don't want to go see an attorney, but if you can, please go see an attorney Tell them the way you want your property to be divided up or who you want your property to go to prior to your passing or prior to you getting sick. And so that way your loved ones that you really want to see with those properties um, and those other belongings will get that without all the headache that it comes with. Because it's hard enough alone to get over someone that you love, let alone go fight the people that are fighting over the materialistic side of it or the people that just want to be greedy or just want to get things off their chest. So... To me, it's just my opinion that you definitely need to consider getting a will for your property or switching your property over to someone else's name to let them be uh, the controller factor, especially if you're older and you see your health is declining. So, that's just my opinion. If you have any questions that you would like to ask me, uh, please be specific and I will give you the best opinion that I can give you. Well, the best advice I can give you. Till next time. See you.